Ooh, could this be a sign of things to come? Super moon. Bring out the big girls. So here you'll see um, a few fish we caught. There are others. Um, just a selection, just to sort of a bit of a taster. Usually I put music here, but the company that I've been using, paying £10 a month to, to so I don't get copyrights, I'm now getting copyrights against their music. So story blocks, I'm sorry, you've been deleted. Right, welcome back everybody, old and new, subscribers or not. Today I'm heading to a lake. I've been invite, kindly invited by Monarch uh, Lakes Syndicate um, on their social. Um, and they've kindly invited me along. So we're off, they've hired Willow Lake at Fenland Fisheries. I think there's seven of us in total going. I don't know whether this is gonna be uh, filmed as a complete social or just just me, we'll see. It's up to the lads if they wanna come on or not. Um, some of them, the right if they do. Take the first exit to A60. And when you get to the lake, catch a fish. Yeah, so when you, um, what was I saying? I forgot. Yes, so it might be filmed just me, it might be them. Um, some of the lads, if they do come on, you'll see uh, three of them were, yeah, three of them were in the France video. Uh, if you've not seen that, go and have a look at that. Um, so yeah, let's get there and uh, get set up and see what happens. I have fished this once before and blanked. So hoping, fingers crossed, this isn't another blank. So, uh, Let's go and see. All we can do is try. Right, I'm not gonna make the same mistake I made last trip. I think that's why I blanked. So, before we even get to this social. It's gotta be done. No Mackie D equals a blanky. So once again, I apologize for no music over this bit, but I'm afraid Storyblocks let me down again. Getting too many copyrights, paying £10 a month. I can't have this. I've found a new company now, so we'll be trying them. So hopefully next video, you will have some music to uh, listen to over these bits. But uh, again, I'll shut up and uh, let you enjoy the video. Right, so just a quick catch up. Literally got here, picked their swims, and I'm on a bank where all the other banks you can drive to, I'm on the only bank that you have to barra. But I brought my barra because I, I was actually hoping to get down here anyway, so it's quite quite cool really. So barra down, just getting the bivy up and it pissed down. So got wet, it took me three barrel loads as I'm here for sort of five days. Is it five days, four nights or five days, four nights? I can't remember. Um, but basically it's Friday and I'm here till Wednesday morning. Um, so, and I wanted to get everything into the bivvy because I don't like going back and forwards to the van. So I wanted everything in the bivvy. So I haven't got, that's it. Once I'm here, I'm set up and I'm done. I'm not moving. This is my swim. So I, I'm, I'm here, I'm set up and and I've just had tea, it's got dark as you can see um, so I'm quickly going to do beer of the night before it gets too dark well, too, too dark, it is dark but um, so this one is called Ghost Ship and it is 4.5% and um, it's bold citrus flavours from a Citra Hops and there is a bit of a story in the back, let me ask get my light to read it and it is inspired by tales of old smuggling ships along the Suffolk coast. This hauntingly good pale ale is full of citrus and biscuit aromas with a spooky, hoppy bite. So what we'll do is, if I can find my opener, open it up. So hopefully we're here for quite a while. There's six of us on the lake, seven of us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, seven of us on the lake. And uh, hopefully we can get a few fish or two to show you. Oh, well, yeah, you can't even smell it as citrus, yeah. So, well, that's coming out of the top already, look. Got a head on it. Cool. 
the taste hits you straight away. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know. They ain't got a taste like anything I've tasted before. Let's try again. I don't know, really. It's okay. Uh, it's probably not something I drink a lot of, but um, I wouldn't. It's not horrible. It's, it's okay. Um, but yeah, I've got this tonight. Well, I've got a couple of these tonight, and then uh, I'm going to get my head down, get up early in the morning. And um, there's been fish showing in my swim. Uh, let's take these off. There's been fish showing in my swim. Um, there's been fizzing. There's been crashing. So. I found three nice spots, rods are out. So all we can do now is sit and wait. So my plan is early night, up early in the morning and uh, see what they're doing. And fingers crossed we can get one in the night. But um, uh, Gaz has already had a catfish and lost a carp. Um, I think it was around about 25, 30 pounds. I'll probably do a walk around tomorrow so you can meet the lads uh, if they want to go on camera. Some will, some won't. And um, I can show you the swims, um, each, well, some of the swims as we walk around the lake. So if you ever come in here, you can have a, have a look at it. But a uh, lovely lake. Weather's seems to be a bit better now. And uh, right, I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna shut up and just get my head down for the night and get up early. So catch you later. Right, this is the view from my swim. I'm just gonna zoom in, it's not gonna be too good, but I think it's Jamie or Alan is now playing a fish. Where are we? There you go, that's about as much as I can zoom. I think he's just about to land it. Sorry, this is just an off my phone camera, but I just, just about to lay down, just have to try and get five minutes and then I heard his alarm go right from the other side of the lake. I think he's got it in the net. Early morning catch up. And that's not McDonald's. Mm -mm. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm. <laughs> right, I've not had much sleep. Um, I was getting liners through the night, but nothing sort of semi, just odd little knocks here and there. And uh, I don't know what time it was now. One of the rods went off this morning. And um, it, it basically just more or less reeled it straight in. It, it didn't really fight much at all. Uh, got it in the net. And that was a 21, uh, no it wasn't, it was a 29-1. Um, if I remember rightly, I thought I was so tired. Yeah, 29-1 I think. So, um, Got the pictures done of that. I'll put them up now. All right, first one of the trip. 29-1. Oh, nice common. I'm gonna not spend too long with it. it. Came in dead easy, it's been a twat ever since. So, here we go. So there we go, there's the other side. All right, hopefully more to come. There we go, mate. So then I'd sort of lay there and lay there, flick through the phone like you usually do. Still getting an odd liner and then dead quiet. Thought, ah, now my chance to get to sleep. Just drifted off and the other rod went. Number fish number two, 27, 11. Fought really well this one. I thought it was going bigger than this. Even when I looked in the net, but yeah, 27 11. Yes, come on, big girls. So, out of the three spots, two of them seem to be producing. Uh, both different hook baits, both different spots. 
one's a little bit closer in, one's a bit further out. So that's good. One of them come off the, the um, spot what was fizzing when I first got into the um, swim yesterday. So yeah, and that one was a 2711 if I remember rightly. That fought like hell that did. And when I got there the next, it was still dark. I had a quick, quick peek in the net, bloody mozzies. I had a quick peek in there and I thought, oh, this could be a, could be a 30. It looked quite a chunk. Yeah, 2711. But still, I'll take it. It's a carp. I'm happy. So, no blank for this trip. That means the McDonald's has worked. Have a Mackey D and you won't blanky. So, I'm now sitting here watching the water. Um, I know Gary had um, a cat last night. Um, or yesterday evening. Oh, run. Oh, I'm back. That was a, weren't a run, it was a savage liner. Oh, never mind. I'm in the area, and that's on the rod I ain't long put back. So where was I? Yeah, Gary had one, a cat. I think he said around 30. I'll probably pop around and have a word with him later. And Paul had, Paul had one last night, just before I... Um, just after, just before, just after dark. I don't know what the others. And someone over there, over to my left hand side, which would be Gary, Doug, or and Paul. I know they're now un unhooking one. I think I can hear some flapping around, and they got the, they had their lights on. So yeah, it's looking good. Hopefully we all catch. It'd be nice if we do. Um, so that's where we're at at the minute. Now sitting there having a cuppa. See that? Can you see that? By the time you see this video, these should be sorted. I've been working on mugs, designs for mugs, t-shirts, and stickers. The mugs are very close now. This is um, this is like a, um, a test. This has got to be altered a little bit, but we've got that sorted now. Fingers crossed. So uh, they'll be available soon, and um, it, I'm just waiting to find out what what the cost is going to be for the stickers and the t-shirts. I've designed 12 separate one-off designs for this channel. So hopefully there's some sort of sensible ones, there's some funny ones, and, and I still keep coming up with ideas. So hopefully they'll be in the not too far future. And uh, I'm going to sit here now with a cup of tea, chill, watch the water, and um, yeah, have some breakfast I think. No, this isn't an evening catch up because I was too bloody tired. And um, had another fish yesterday. I'll put them pictures up now. Uh, there we go, fish number three. Oh, it's even put his fins up. Uh, not weighed it yet. We'll have a look in a minute. Just want to quickly get it in. Get it treated. Quick pick, get it back. And there you go, there's the other side. <laughs> so, fish number four, I'm not going to hold this up for long because it's too heavy. So, come straight after the other one. So, a double take. <laughs> Let's get you back, little fella. Now that's what you call a multiple catch. <laughs> so yeah, nice 22-14. Um, I was just getting ready, I was just sorting my kit out, wash kit, I was gonna have a shower and uh, get the rods out, rest the swim for a little while. <clears throat> and I was just sorting my wash kit out ready and getting, and I tied some rigs and there soaking and about to get up to go and reel the rods in and it went off, so yeah. Uh, Funny how it happens sometimes, just when you're thinking of doing something and it just went. But anyway, waffling on, cooking breakfast now, because last night I was just so tired from the night before. I had one beer last night and I thought I'd have a lay down and that was it, I was asleep. Um, so no beer the night last night, I'll do that tonight. And who else has had stuff? Um, Jamie had one, yeah, Jamie had one last night. 
um, oh, bacon and sausage. Um, yeah, Jamie had one last night. Um, I think Alan lost a cat. Um, Paul had one. Um, Gary had a big cat, a big cat. And then he's just gone past actually. Him and him and Doug have gone for a shower because they're all slimed up from holding the cat. Um, one minute, sausages. Yeah. So um, I had a really quiet night. We, I'm one, you know. Obviously, we like to catch, but I was so tired. It was nice to have a sleep. So today, I'm going to have a really productive day today. Whilst watching the water, uh, I'm going to be sorting bits and pieces out. I've got some, I've got a bunch of old rigs. I've got to take all the end tackle off um, and salvage what I can from that. So that's a boring, shitty job that I'm, 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 I assume most of you must do. But just taking off the little micro swivels and rings and all those sorts of bits and pieces and to reuse them. Um, I am then going to do a bit of filming today because I've got a few products on filming while I'm here. One I've been asked about quite a bit, so I'm putting that through its paces this week um, and getting filming for that. And I think we're having a barbecue this afternoon, um, so I may take the camera up there and just film us having the barbecue. -y. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a, a chilled, a chilled but productive day today. So, mist is out. It's looking lovely. It's always lovely when you're out on the lake. So I'm going to get this breakfast, Amy. I say that was a catch up because I didn't do nothing last night, and then I'll see you later sometime today. So, breakfast time. Nope, it's not afternoon. It's just after breakfast. Uh, today I'm on it. I feel I feel good today. It's amazing what a, like a, a pretty good unbroken sleep can give you. Well, I say unbroken, but you know, not the alarms beep, 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 beep. Um, just go or be quiet but last night was a, we were the quiet one like I said um, just had me sausage and sausage and bacon sandwich for breakfast um, just sitting back chilling and I thought do you know what I said I didn't do beer of the night why don't I do beer of the morning you know why not I'm on holiday ain't I so I thought I'd do that now so let's have a quick look so this one is called black sheep now Drinking, oh, I don't know what it is, half seven I think it is in the morning. Drinking a beer at half seven in the morning, I probably would be the black sheep of the family. <laughs> I probably am anyway. I'm sure my brother will comment on this. But um, it's 4.4%. Let's have a look what it says on the back. A well-rounded premium amber ale packed with British hops and complex malt blind blend. Dried fruits and a touch of caramel. A lot of things are using fruits and citrus in that now. And caramels. Uh... Stroke the palate, leading to a rich, bitter, sweet finish. Independently brewed in Masham, Yorkshire, using fresh Dales water and our iconic Yorkshire Square fermenters. That sounds nice. So, uh, yeah. That just smells ailey, so uh, let's try a black sheep. Yeah, I like that one. That's nice doesn't taste really really strong um, so it could be a creeper that's gonna be a new thing there creeper we'll have beers that are creepers so they'll be sort of uh, they're the ones that are strongish but um, they don't taste strong so you could sort of get caught out by them by drinking too many I'm only gonna have this one for breakfast I just when I'm on holiday I like to have a beer from after breakfast just just what well, it's just nice you know I think it's just like being a naughty boy um, so I thought I'd have that. Right, the other thing I wanted to do is to get these off. Ugh. The other thing I wanted to say was, just want to take this minute to say thanks to everybody who watches the channel, subscribes to the channel, who comments on the channel, who sends me emails and all that sort of stuff. If you, and also on my Facebook, if not, I'll put that down here. And um, that's the Facebook that runs alongside the, the YouTube channel as well. Um, all those comments and all those thumbs up and all those subscribes make a difference to us because we as little just i'm just an average guy like everybody else and us little content creators i suppose what you're called it's it's all those things that make a difference these people who have got thousands and thousands and thousands of subscribers they don't that you know it, it, it's it's it probably started out like this for them but um it must be sort of i don't know 
they just get used to it. To us, every comment you get and every thumbs up, it's just nice knowing that you're producing something that, that people want to watch. You know, it's not our way. Some, it takes a lot of time to do these. If you, you know, some people just do a quick film off their camera, quick edit, then bang, done. But if you're doing like we do, I watch quite a few of you um, carp anglers out there who do these you'll know how long it takes to think about your film and think about the angles, think about light and think about sound. Have you got this right? Did you get that right? Is it is it right? You know, there's so many things to take into account. Lighting, ah, oh, lighting. But um, I'm getting there slowly. I'm, I'm getting there. And the microphones have been a massive, massive change for me. Massive change. They weren't cheap, but yeah, what a difference. Um, lighting has changed a lot in this last sort of last year so that's good but yeah it's just it's just then the editing i mean you can just just do a basic edit if you want but you know as as um, a lot of you who do it know sometimes the editing you can sit for bloody hours editing but you know we enjoy doing it else we wouldn't do it and then when you make those comments and just say you know give us let's say give us a thumbs up or, or saying great video or whatever and um, great it, it just makes us think yeah it is worthwhile so if you can just help a few people along the way great i'm no i'm nothing special i'm just your average angler who enjoys carp angling who goes out and just enjoys catching carp um although saying that um you'll by the time you see this i think the other one will be out which i blanked in so i don't just put ones out of catching i do put the ones i blank in um, and I had two more before that. I didn't film them because I'd got to the stage where I needed to take a break from filming. Um, it just it carries so much more kit, and you have to worry about so much more. Like, like I was saying about light and then angles and what content. Right? I just wanted a couple of sessions to to enjoy my fishing again, and um, so I didn't film those two. Plus, I had to cut one short because my dogs come with me, and one of my little dogs doesn't like lightning, and it hammered it down, and it was lightning, and um, so we had to cut that short. But if you've got any questions, if anything you want to know, if there's things you want, like I haven't reviewed that you'd like to see, okay, um, give me a shout, let me know. You can do it on here in the comments below, or you can do it on the email, you can do it on the Facebook. And, and I'll do it. a couple of things I'm doing this time. I've got a power pack which has got 240 on it. A lot of you who watched the France one would have seen it. And, I've got the I'm I'm doing the review on. I've used it now a few times, so I know how it works. I know a few more bits about it, and so I'm doing that this week because I've got time to use it, charge stuff off it, then get the solar panel out and work out how much you can put back in with the. So I'm doing that one this week, and I'm probably doing the chair I'm sitting in as well because I'm well impressed with this. I'm so impressed with this chair. I'm now thinking of changing my bed because of the leg system on this is better than the the legs on the bed I'm using at the moment and I have, my bed's not that old it's only probably a year old but um, I'm well impressed with this this chair but again that will be a review you'll see I'm tempted to do my marker sticks now I've had these marker sticks since near enough they come out but and they're the best I've ever used but I'm just a bit worried that um, people are going to jump on the oh they're too expensive I thought that at the beginning but after using them nah they're bloody brilliant um, and what else was I going to do? Possibly be another bivy table because um, in one of my videos previously, a couple of years ago, I did the fox bivy table that I'd been using for 12 years. It broke. I mean, oh, come on, fox. It's only lasted 14 years. <laughs> now, to be honest with you, it broke. It wasn't the table's fault, it was me. I was rushing to pack one day and rammed it in and one of the legs, because the legs fold, flop, flop out, it flopped out and as I rammed it in, it just snapped the, the side of the plastic. Otherwise, it would probably still be going strong. Um, I've still got the other one, that's still fine. So I bought a new bivy table and I bought that second hand new. Um, it's 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 got a power pack built into it so i might i might do that one because i've been using that a, a little while now and i think i can give an honest review on that as well so there are a few things i'm going to film this week and um, so i rambled on a lot i'm going to shut them up and i'm going to enjoy my breakfast beer and um and then i'm going to sort of start sorting kit out and uh, get filming have a shower and then I shall probably see you next. Uh, unless I don't, if I get a fish, we will. It's been quiet for me over here tonight, today, tonight, today. Yeah, today. Um, but you never know. 
Um, let's say, and then the next time you'll see me is probably down at the when we have a, the social meetup, having a bit of a barbecue. So I'll see if I can get some of the lads on camera then. So right, I'll enjoy, and whatever you're doing, you're doing, enjoy, and I'll catch you later. This is such a boring job, but if only we could do it this quick, it'd make it better. But it's worth doing to save a few quid. Now I could sing over this bit, but the other lads on here will tell you my singing's not that good. Right, so in your time, that probably saw that in about 10 seconds, but it probably took me, I don't know, five to 10 minutes to sort out. But from those rigs, what I just take off, chuck to the one side, I just keep them. And then when I'm on a longer session, what I do is I just strip them down and just save myself a few quid, you know? every little helps so there is all my rubbish that I don't need here is a four hooks that are going to need some examining I think they're probably going to be okay with just a little bit of a sharp and I don't mind sharpening hooks as long as they're not too far gone um, but yeah there's some hooks so that that's great there's a bit of a choddy rig I, I had that's that's going to need a little bit of examination but I think that's going to be okay there is a complete rig here and um, this was probably I don't know why it's probably just changed it because I've no idea why I changed it, but it looks perfectly fine to me, but I'll give it a, a, a bit better examination in a minute and see. I'll probably use that again. And you've got all anti-tangle sleeves there. There's probably nearly a pack full there. So, you know, four, five, six quid, whatever that is. And then I've got like my little beads, um, um, micro swivels and other swivels. Um, I mean, look at that. That's certain putty I'll use again. I'm using two putties at the minute. Um, one I'll tell you about later and I've been using it now since France, which is really good, and I use the Fox one. But that there is a ball of putty. That'll probably do another, I don't know, six, seven, eight rigs. That's fine. Now, I wouldn't use putty like this. I don't know if you can see that there. There's that, I don't know. That has got, if you can see, it's got a little bit of the uh, outer sleeve or coating of the um, rig. Um, not rig, um, hook link material, I can find it. So I wouldn't use that because I, d I don't want the hook link material in there, so that will go. Um, and I did find this. Now, I was just saying, showing you a minute ago about the hooks. Now this one, let me see if I can put it in there so you can see. But, um, let's see, can you, can you see that? No, you probably can't. How about like that? Can you see that? See the end of that hook, look, completely snapped off but the rest of the hook is still perfectly good and I must have landed a fish on that because um, you wouldn't reel it in like that so that's per se that's why I only use fox hooks I won't use any other hook but you can save yourself a few quid with just a little bit of time and when you're sitting here on a longer session doing nothing do it every little helps I was just going to say, I don't know who's in this swim, but I'm, I've just seen the belly, so I know it's Paul. Well, it'll be Paul or Gaz. The beach body's out. <laughs> yeah, nice little set up here, yeah. Right, so we've had five takes. Two fish on the bank. One was 16 pound. The other was 27.9. Uh, the other three were definitely catfish, big buggers as well. Just no way you could control them. Uh, so far, that's my my fishing trip, as it is at the minute. Hey. Oh, my God. Time travel. He's right. You're looking, bro. This is how it's done. Well, I know, mate. Keep an eye on you for what you want. Wait, look, watch. Hair and makeup. Fucking hell. <laughs> Good luck with the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Gary. <laughs> I'm a carper. <laughs> But all I've had is fucking cats. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. carp. Little carp, yeah. Yeah, the carp, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it on? Yeah. Oh. <laughs>
Yeah. What's yeah. I say? Just, just tell them what you had so far. So, turned up here Friday, put my rods in, 20 minutes later, had a catfish, 29.11. As I was putting it back, the other rod went off, definitely a carp, lost it. Then uh, yesterday afternoon, rods were back in and it went off again, middle rod, another cat, couldn't contain it, it just kept peeling line and the hook pulled me in the end. Then this morning, nice and early, just after four o'clock, didn't have time to put my makeup on or anything. Off it peeled again, and it was uh, another cat. Like the makeup's going to make a difference. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I need a lot of makeup. 63, 63 pound, four ounces. Got to count the ounces, guys. Um, and then Rod's back in, and then not long after that, about an hour, I had a small carp, not what I came for, but you know, I came for carp, I've had some cats, and a couple of pussies. that's the way it goes. Alright guys, catch up soon, checking out Gaz the Carp Whisperer. <laughs> <laughs>6-2 Lovely There we go, it's the other side Big old bug muncher Loving the bug So the evening catch up, well, my rod's not been in most of the day so I can't really say too much about mine um, because I reeled them in about, I would say about 11.30 this morning and I made sure I got all my batteries charged up and I was doing a bit of filming for the solar, uh, not solar, what's it called, um, power pack with the solar panel um, and, and a chair that I've been using. So they'll be coming out soon, if not before this. Um, and then we went round and had a barbecue and a few beers and a catch up, which was really good fun. Yeah. In that house, yeah. there's a massive big lake. Sometimes but but you don't fish it. No one, yeah. I'll do fish it, I think it's just his friends. You, yeah. can, you can book it out now. We put ours on in August. Our house is that fucking cold, and I'll never get cold. Really? Yeah. Just to eat it through, it dropped one night. 
Yeah, honestly. In August. Yep. And mind you, I had to put the eating on the other day. Mind you, not had any fucking radiators on the board for about four months. <laughs> Oh, it's going to start getting cold soon, so I'd better get the radiator back on the wall. They work for cut. Was that for you fucking the top? Oh, they begged me to fucking stay two days a week until the next stock take. Uh, well, that's the truth, they have. Oh, yeah, but I'd have gone, what's it worth? Yeah, yeah. It's easy money, that's the trouble. It's so easy. Pay me more. Like Alan said. What he gets easy money. Fucking hell. Push a button, start, and then at the end of the ship, stop. Really? Yeah, two buttons. Yeah. So what, what did the X well, yeah, do? On and off. I think it's all right. Fuck yeah. yeah. off. It fucking... Starts it. And stops it. Yeah. It's 50k a year. I'll send you a fucking video when I'm doing the swizzles. Fucking 12 across. Oh, yeah, I yeah. know what that is. I'll send you a video of it. I'll send you a video of the concrete blocks. Oh, I'll, I'll send you a soppy fucking wave blocks. Is that like the Adam yeah. Simpson job? You're fucking in the nuclear plant. You've got one button you? to look after. Yeah, well, yeah, no, it's getting bad, isn't it? fucking boat roaming. Is there anything left? Ooh. No, no, mate. Who was the one who ate the fucking tree? The fucking only one tree oh, you had standing that's there. That's when you had to go down and get that fucking... Crashed into... No, that, that was the mud. No, that was the mud. Yeah, he'd stayed off his pitch ball. or something, but that motor home... That it? motor home, he was staying there for a few days, and he was knocking that bird off in it. Oh, and he'd ripped off the side, yeah. and he'd still have taped it up. Oh, yeah, that, oh, yeah that's a different one, out. Mm. Uh, the classic was that ball, the cow, running around the lakes. Cow? Did you not see that? I do get cows left everywhere, didn't it? Fucking unbelievable, is it? We was doing this, trying to stop it from going around the lakes, and it just went straight past us. I was a lot of you, bro. Yeah. Oh, I look, so I look around the fall. What's that coming up the ramp? <laughs> <laughs> a fucking <laughs> Gary breathing it's in. All gone <laughs> it's all gone into your chin. Right, come on. Yeah, you breathe in it, it's all fear. Behave. Small right ones on. at the front. Right, small fat guys at the front. Gary, okay. Gaz, <laughs> Gaz. <laughs> you got a little clicker. <laughs> That's his personal life. Oh, come on, eh? Is it done? <laughs> He's recording it. It's a video. <laughs> 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 I was seeing a flash and I'm like, that's recording. <laughs> Look at the fucking size of that. Look, I'll put my finger beside it. What the hell is that? I won't go that way, mate. That's the cob. Listen, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. So I just got back to my bivy after the barbecue. What a laugh. <laughs> Great bunch of lads. Um, we're from all walks of life. And that's the good thing about carp fishing. You don't have to be um, all the same. You can all be different, but you can all have a laugh, all get on, all piss take. And there's no nothing bad talk about it at all. It's a real nice community. And that's the thing I like about carp. You're gonna get the odd one. You get the odd one in all of them. So I've just got back to my swim just got my kit out ready to sort of put the rods out and I thought I can't be bothered I really just I'm just chilled and happy Um I am going to put them out but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my time I'm not going to rush it's a bit warm so I thought I'd do beer of the night tonight Um and tonight it is oh <laughs> I nearly dropped it oh I have dropped my glasses it is one called Mad Goose Let's just get my glasses. I want a bit of a slope so things do tend to slide. So we'll undo this and see what it's like. Oh, first time off. Yeah, this smells hoppy. This does smell hoppy. So it's called Mad Goose. It's 4.2%. It's brewed in Warwickshire. So it says about the, um, they tell you a bit about the eco-ness of, of the bottle. They've changed a certain amount, so it cuts down on so many tons a year and all that sort of stuff. You can read all about that if you buy the bottle. Um, but what it says about it as a beer is award-winning Mad Goose is a zesty pale owl with a refreshing citrus finish. Again, citrus seems to be a thing these days. Um, inspired by their own fearsome feathered friend, I'm guessing they know some geese. Um, her hiss is far worse than her bite, except around mating season. Pfft, that's like most women, I think. 
please women if you're watching this don't judge me it's best to stay inside for another well earned beer so we'll yeah it does smell it just oh yeah yeah that's got a real um pale ale pale ale strong taste i would say to it um very nice again you've probably heard me say this before i'd quite like this with a half and half so half of this and half bitter that'd be really nice as a light and bitter um I, yeah quite nice like that so that's called mad goose so i'm going to sit here and have that I'm going to chill out. I'm not in no rush to put the rods in at all. I'm I'm lucky. I've had a few fish, whether it be skill, whether it be luck, whether it be the right bait, the right swimmer. I don't care. I'll take it. Whether it be a ten pound carp or as you've seen a thirty six, I'm quite happy with that. I'm just enjoying it with a good bunch of lads and having a good laugh. And that's one thing that carp fishing is about. So I said I was going to probably talk to you later in the night or in the morning well it's about 10 minutes fucking later actually and i don't know if you can see this but they're not actually sitting on my head like they should do um and also these should be in these frames i've only gone and sat on my fucking glasses and broke another set so i'm not 100 percent sure how well there's no point in fucking wearing these now i'll chuck them on the floor I don't know how I'm going to tie rigs now because I may have to go a monocle. Uh, I don't know. I thought, what am I going to do? I've I've got no fucking glasses, so I am now knackered. It's now what is it? Sunday night, and I'm here till Thursday morning with no glasses. Um, unless I can stick them in the frame somehow. Uh. I may have to go to the van and see if I've got some super glue or some gaffer tape or I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I need them because I can't see to tie rigs. Um, I've got three rigs tied and three rigs on my rods. But I don't think that's going to last that long. So if I haven't got something to mend these um look the old brains ticker now the only other thing i can do is go around to one of the lads and see if they'll tie me some rigs i need some glasses that you can sit on or bright a luminous color or something so i don't sit on them what a fucking dickhead shit happens